It's February the 6th, 2017, and a Qantas Airbus A380 departs from Dubai International bound for Melbourne as Qantas Flight 10. The flight departs at 1.05am local time to begin the nearly 13 and a half hour journey to Australia. About three hours after departure, the A380 is cruising at flight level 350 when the crew notices that the number one engine is experiencing vibrations in the N1 low pressure spool. The N1 spool is connected to the visible turbine at the front of the engine. The second spool, N2, is the high pressure spool in the engine's core. The crew decides to divert to Singapore's Changi Airport. They make a left turn towards Singapore and descend to flight level 330. During this time, engine vibrations increase to 9 units, which prompts the crew to shut down the engine to prevent damage. Another three hours later at approximately 4.30pm local time, the aircraft lands safely in Singapore on runway 02 centre. The airline arranges transfers and accommodations where appropriate for passengers. The A380's number one engine is replaced, with the aircraft expected to return to service within 24 hours. It's not the first time a Qantas A380 has had engine troubles. In April 2016, Qantas Flight 9 from Melbourne to Dubai made an unscheduled landing in Sydney after engine vibrations were detected just over three hours into the journey. In November 2010, Qantas Flight 32 suffered an uncontained engine failure shortly after departing from Singapore. A turbine disc in the aircraft's number no. 2 Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engine had disintegrated, causing damage to the nacelle, wing, fuel system, landing gear, flight controls, the controls for engine number no. 1, and an undetected fire in the left inner wing fuel tank that eventually self-extinguished. The failure was determined to have been caused by the breaking of a stub oil pipe which had been manufactured improperly. The heavily damaged jet made an overweight emergency landing in Singapore, earning the crew widespread commendations, including an Order of Australia for significant service to the aviation industry for Captain Richard de Crapney. There were no injuries reported among the 440 passengers and 29 crew on board the plane.